I find if I use a one ounce lead, I get as many bites as if I use a six ounce lead. But I find the more that you go towards the middle, the less bites that you get. Exactly. Because a lot of people say, oh, I'm only using a successful anglers as well. They say I'm using a simple rig. Yeah. And then you'll see it's a light lead with no tubing. Yeah. And fluorocarbonyl. Yeah. And a, a subtle hook, maybe yeah. a small hook. Small hook. You think, well, that, that's quite technical in a way because it's, it's not technical, but it, it's sort of out of the norm because everybody uses tubing or uh, yeah. leaders of some description yeah. that are visual. So you, you're using something that's inconspicuous to start with that helps. Yeah. Well, you get the tubing on there. You know yourself. You've seen yeah. it underwater. You see the tubing. You're going to need a bit of a twig or something. Tubing's over the twig and it's so visible. But if you've got a bit of main line that goes over that twig, it's not so visible. It's no. very, very difficult to see underwater. It's the same with some of these coated leads you get. Yeah. If you lose one in the margins, if it drops off, or it, say a rig's cracked off and you know where it's gone roughly, you can find it pretty easy, the coated lead. You can. The ones that are a pig to find are uncoated, weathered ones. Yeah. That's normal lead that's been left yeah. in the lake. You know where you find a rig and you pull out a tackle snag? Yeah. And it's got leads on that have weathered? That's right. They're almost impossible, impossible to see. Impossible to see, yeah. They're really almost yeah. impossible to see. And sometimes when they've got a few little cuts and abrasions in them as yeah, well, yeah, yeah. they help camouflage yeah. it as well. So sometimes it's easy to uh, get a little bit too technical, but on the other hand, it's, it's easy to, to slip into a, well, the fish just aren't feeding today. Yeah. When they actually are feeding. They're always feeding. Yeah, but I yeah. think so, yeah. yeah. Somewhere I, on this lake now, yeah. there's something feeding. Of course. You know. And you've proved the point with that, how successful yeah. you've been with the singles. Mm. People always go, oh, this is only um, a night water. They don't feed in the day. Of course yeah. they feed in the day. Mm. What they're doing, they're cleaning everything else out. You're actually on a spot. You're going into the night as a single bait. People don't realise it. If you get your business done early and you're spotting out before late, mm. They've had it. They've had yeah. the lot. I've watched them underwater take every single bit. I've watched well, them. Well, of course, in the daytime as well, they can well, see better. The visual thing. Can, and people well, go, oh, it's only a night water. Well, of course, at night, they can't see what they're doing, can they? Not as easy. Well, I, I, I happen to disagree with it. I, I think they've got a, a type of night vision, mm. uh, infrared spectrum. I've seen a, a programme that supported that, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose that's another story. But it's they have got, I'm certain, they've got a type of night vision. Because when you hook a fish, in, say you're on a water that's full of stumps and snags. Yeah. You hook a fish and it screams off and it goes through all the snags at yeah. high speed. Why doesn't it smash its face to pieces into the snags that are covering mussels, everything? Because it can see where it's going, that's why. Yeah, it's a fair point. I never thought yeah, of it. Like it can that. see.